So let's go ahead and take a look under the hood and see what features and capabilities uh, we, we can get from Genesis. So we all recall Hiba. She's our superstar. She's a, you know, a customer that's going to engage with us on any channel, the channel of her choice. Some, she woke up today, she wants to start the conversation on WhatsApp. After a couple hours, she wants to call into the call center. Maybe she wants to tweet uh, a message to the call center. It doesn't matter what channel she chooses. It shouldn't matter what channel she chooses to engage with us. What is important is when that interaction reaches the agent, it's reached on a single screen. So the agent doesn't have to have four, five, six different screens open to handle four or five different uh, interactions. You don't have to onboard four or five different agents to handle four or five different channels, basically, at the end of the day. So the agent has a 360 degree view of the engagement and, in, and basically of the engagement of that customer with the organization. So agent logs into one screen and they manage and handle all different types of interactions to the omnichannel. We talk about reports. So the supervisors, that's the information they need to see. They have access to different uh, live dashboards, live monitoring and uh, historical information, a complete set of any type of information whether it's on the contact center side, whether it's on the information that we can get as attributes uh, from the engagements that your customers engage with you as an organization. Workforce engagement, I love workforce engagement. So what is workforce engagement? You basically can, okay, so first of all, it's, it's three main components, right? It's your workforce management, it's your quality management, and it's your employee performance. It's those three comp components. What we're talking about here is you can have the complete workforce engagement when it comes to scheduling, when it comes to um, quality checks, when it comes to development and gamification in one platform, from one platform. You don't have to invest in a third party WFM and you don't have to invest in a third party recording solution or quality management solution. You're getting all of this from Genesis. So what is workforce management? The ability to utilize and leverage artificial intelligence to create forecasted schedules for you. So the system will create these forecasted schedules and you as a uh, workforce manager will be able to approve and publish those schedules based on uh, the, the uh, artificial intelligence. If you're currently using a workforce management system and you want to shift and migrate, that's also applicable too. So you don't have to worry about losing all the data that you currently have. Quality management. As a quality manager, I want to understand what's going on in my contact center. I want to be able to assess and evaluate all the different types of interaction. So it could be a call. It could be a WhatsApp, it could be Twitter, it could be Facebook, it could be any type of message that comes in to your contact center. I want to be able to you know, provide the, the best type of quality on that. So I can listen into the recording, I can you know, view the um, video recording, if there's a screen recording, I can read that chat, the chat uh, transcript that happened between the customer and my, my agents. I can add annotations here to have references to come back to this recording. I can understand what the sentiment was. So if it's a positive sentiment, if it's a negative sentiment, I can understand you know, what happened throughout the call. So did the sentiment increase or did it decrease uh, throughout the engagement? If I see that there's a need to add a coaching session, I can do that from here as an evaluator. So I can have the, you know, the agent properly coached up as needed. Adding different agents to different uh, development modules from within Genesis. So you don't have to put all of your information on a shared folder, or you don't have to you know, have different types of uh, LMS systems out there that are going to enable, or going to have your agents basically leave the environment and go to a separate environment. You're, a, you're basically able to upskill your agents from a single platform, from a single solution, where you can create content, you can assign these training modules to your agents, and you can monitor the progress to make sure that they're completing uh, the sessions as well. And I love this, it's gamification. So I'm very competitive sometimes. So this, what this does basically is it enables you to create the friendly com competitive environment within your contact center by configuring KPIs that you have and making sure that your agents uh, comply to those KPIs to some degree. So as you can see here, this is a screenshot that shows us the different uh, the work schedule the workforce schedule for the agent also shows us shows us who the leaders are uh i'm sorry about this uh, menu if i pick anything okay so it shows us who the, who the leaders are so i can have the ability to basically um as a contact center create specific kpis and make sure that my agents are within those kpis if they meet a specific kpi they're awarded points if they go on break 
at the specific time, they're awarded points. If they take, you know, if they're on queue on a specific time, they're awarded points. If their average handle time is within a specific, you know, time limit that or a KPI that I created as an organization, they're awarded points. So what that does is it creates the competitive environment, but what it also does is it limits the number of times your team leaders or supervisors have to go and engage with your team members to basically tell them, hey, look, you're taking too much time on this call. You know, maybe you don't want to transfer that much of calls because your agents have live access to this information. They can see that from that same uh, application, basically. Eco-friendly, you have a ticketing system, you have a CRM, you want to have the agent be able to see that information on the spot once that interaction is reached, whether it's a call, whether it's a social media interaction, whether it's WhatsApp, the agent should have access to that information. So we can connect to that through our open integration, so our open REST APIs, or through connectors that we have available in our app boundary. So you don't have to worry about, you know, having the agent open different screens. All of the information the agent needs to see once that interaction is retrieved is, is basically accessible from that same location. Now, if we take a look at a couple of more advanced features that we have, um, we have something called AI powered journey or predictive engagement. If I want to, you know, summarize this in a very short uh, manner is basically allowing your website, if you're retail, if you're telco and you're selling products, it doesn't really matter, you know, what products you're selling. It allows your website to tell you the story of what your customer is doing in real time powered by Genesis. So you know, utilizing AI, we can see that the customer is on a specific page. They've spent a specific duration of time on that page. Based on that, the system will understand, is this prospect or this customer, are they going to convert? What's the, what's the you know, probability of them converting? If the probability of them converting is less than a, than a specific figure, the system can engage with them. Genesis will engage with them, basically. It can send them a uh, pop-up to start chatting with an agent or it can send them a pop-up that there's some type of offer that the customer can take advantage of. So you're making sure that, you know, your, your customers, your prospects are converting. When we talk about chat bots and voice bots, uh, this is amazing. You build your bot flow once. You take advantage of what Genesis has to provide through, from, from NLU, from uh, utterances, from the bot flow. So you build the whole flow once and you deploy it across all of your channels. It could be voice, it could be WhatsApp, it could be Twitter. It doesn't really matter what uh, channel that you have. So you build the bot once, you invest once, and then you utilize, and you take advantage of your investment. Now let's say that you already have a bot flow on IBM Watson or Microsoft or Google Dialog flow. You can have the ability to utilize that bot and connect it with Genesis to ensure that the customer experience, when they engage with the bot as the first level, will always be able to transfer and interact and engage uh, with an agent uh, when needed. Agent assistant, uh, as I mentioned earlier, you have your customer, HIPAA is engaging with the, with the agent. The system is able to understand the, uh, basically the text uh, uh, of, of the conversation. And based on that, they're able, the system will promote and propose different topics to the agent. And that decreases the time that the agent would have, that would, the agent would need to engage with the customer it gives them topics and doesn't have, it allows the agent to not have to go and search for different topics uh, when needed. And finally, AI routing. So I'm sorry, I'm a little thirsty. Uh, AI, when you talk about AI routing, like I mentioned earlier, we ensure that when HIBA is ready to talk to an agent, whether it's through voice or any other channel, we ensure that it's going to be transferred to the best agent available. And that's through uh, AI routing, understanding the customer history, understanding the customer real-time data, how long they spent on, on the IVR or on the queue, what options they selected, for example, whether it's on the IVR, whether it's on the chat box, and understanding the agent information. What's the agent first case resolution results or statistics? What's the agent, you can say even, you can go to a degree of um, gender. Um, so once that customer is ready to be transferred, it makes the system make sure, Genesis makes sure that it's routed to the best um, agents available. And what does that tell us? Well, what you're doing is when you provide experiences as a service, you're giving your customers the channel of choice. You're telling them, it doesn't matter what channel you're, 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 going, to, you're going to contact us with, you have the full flexibility to select that channel. And you can access us anywhere, anytime. So if it could be out of working hours. We still have a chat bot uh, that will be able to you know, have that conversation with you. You can do self-services on the IVR. You can do self-services on the other digital channels as well. When I call in to the contact center and the IVR tells me, hi, Hassan, 
we, we want to confirm that your booking flight to Jordan is after two days. And we want to update you with all of the necessary uh, COVID restrictions in Jordan. If you're interested to know that information, press one. And when I press one, it'll take me to WhatsApp to can continue that conversation there. That's called personalization. That's called experience of service. Instead of taking an hour and a half and being so stressful for two to three days until I reach the destination, I can get all the information within seconds. So personalization here, providing the experience of the service. At the same time, empathy. If I'm on a channel, it doesn't matter what channel I'm on, I should still be able to engage with an agent. And it's not just about engaging with the best agent. It's about empowering the agent with the knowledge, with, uh, with the information of the customer. I don't wanna call the agent and, and start my conversation with the agent and have to repeat myself. The agent should know where I am and what I need in order to serve me uh, properly. And finally, security. So when we talk about AWS, you're already in that secure realm, right? So you have, um, you ha we, we have our data in REST and in transit in encrypted with AES uh, 256. If you select to go with, with the private cloud, you know, multi-cloud private edition, that's also within your security standards, within your NOC, basically, within your NOC. 